Uh, moving on to Bayelsa, where the Minister of State um, Petroleum Resources and Oil, Heineken Lokbobiri, says crude oil production is set to hit 2 million barrels per day this year. He spoke during a visit to his country home in Ikerimo. Joseph Kunde has it in. In year 2024, we are moving a step further in our quest to restart local refinery of petroleum products with... The pronouncement by President Bola Tinubu on the first day of the year regarding oil production is already being backed up as the oldest refinery in Nigeria commissioned the mechanical phase, making the Port Harcourt refinery to have attained over 75% completion. The Port Harcourt refinery has a combined production capacity of 210,000 barrels per day. Alongside other refineries in the country could see more availability of petroleum products with subsidized prices. The Minister of State's Petroleum Resources, Oil, Heineken Lukwobiri, sets a tone for the expectations for the year 2024. For the first time in the past seven years or more, there is no fuel queue across the country. That didn't happen by accident. It's a product of careful planning and execution. And I can assure you that our projection for the year 2024 will be to surpass 2 million barrels by day. Key players are already looking forward to a more rewarding year in the oil and gas sector, reaffirming their confidence in the president's appointment in the sector. We are grateful to Mr. President uh, for not only giving us a minister, but giving us a minister in a strategic ministry. Uh, you know, this is a ministry, Petroleum, is a ministry that resonates with us. It is strategic for him to have been the only German appointed into the federal cabinet and then manning a strategic ministry such as oil. So the John nation cannot expect any excuse whatsoever. Honorable Minister, deserve it. He's our brother, he's our leader. Who will continue to support him to succeed. All these happened when the Minister of State Petroleum Resources Oil arrived his country home to a grand reception. Joseph Kumbi, TVC News, Academy.